Hi all, it's a quick tutorial for those of you using Spectrum DX6i model transmitter and wanting to bind those extra sticks for resetting the drone and restarting the race. I will be using mode 2 transmitter where throttle is on the left hand side and just a simple USB dongle for connecting transmitter to the PC. I'll start with turning on my transmitter, no cables connected yet, and I'll select a fresh configuration, we'll go to adjust list, model select, and I just choose a fresh one. Okay, once the model is selected we can go back to main screen and see that by default it's selected Heli. We'll need to change Heli to Acro to change the layout of the settings. We go to Setup List, Model Type, and we'll change it to Acro here. Once that's done, we will be able to see in Adjust List menu Flaps option, which was not there if Heli selected. So we go to Flaps, and we change Norm to 100 and Land to 100 of flap setting. Just be sure you turn this handle to the right hand side and the arrow points upwards. For land would be turning the handle to the same side but the arrow will point downwards. To check if our changes worked, we go to setup list and find monitor. What we just did is we assigned those two switches to channel 5 and channel 6. So once we toggle them, you should see the change in channel 5 and aux. I'll start with flap gyro. We can see that it actually changes now. And next I'll switch the gyro F mode. We can see it's on channel 5. So now we can proceed and turn off the transmitter to save settings. What I did just now, I connected the dongle cable to the transmitter and it turned on automatically. I also turned on the DRL simulator and we'll now calibrate our new controller. What the transmitter might have changed automatically for you is it might have changed acro to heli again so make sure that acro is selected here and you can, can tell that from the icon if the heli is shown then you need to go to settings and change it back again so we go to settings controller setup we go for a new controller and then move sticks and start center them.
Now we need to select our restart switch. I'll choose the flop gyro for that. And we switch it multiple times until it gets recognized. We can see it. Now we'll go for the other one. We can also see that it got rec recognized. And we're done. Also, you might need to reverse some of the channels. And we can save our new controller now. Now you should be able to use the reset drone and restart race buttons. Let's give it a quick try. In the meanwhile, I'll mention that using the advanced uh, setup of the controllers didn't work for me, so I had to use the basic one. I will try to restart the race by toggling the flap gyro. It worked. And I'll try to reset the drone after the crash. I'll toggle the F mode switch. It worked as well. So that should do it.